So, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, I would like to wish you again a good evening to you all, dear participants, that you have gathered here for the IC awareness session. Before moving forward, let's give 
a brief understanding about what is this awareness session is for. This awareness session is about Microsoft Imaging Club. What is mean by Microsoft Imaging Club? This is a global student technology competition which offers students the opportunity, the opportunity to showcase their talent in developing, inspiring, leading edge technology solutions in one of the four categories given by Earth, Education, Health, and Lifestyle. Participants of this competition will be able to hone their technical skills, pitch their ideas, and stand a chance of winning fabulous crash prizes in the final competition. This competition is divided into several stages and a competitor has to succeed in these, each level to stand a chance to winning this particular global competition. In order to aware the gathering, we have three distinguished guests today. I would like to I would like to introduce them to you. The, our first uh, resource person is Mr. Prabhat Manaperuma. He's a partner technology strategist at Microsoft. Then I would like to introduce Miss um, uh, Kalpani Abhisingha. She is a team member of Nana Shilpa, which were the runners up in 2022 Microsoft Imaging Cup uh, World Championship. Then I would like to introduce the third resources, uh, resource person today. Uh, he was the team leader from the team L, team LC, LC, yeah, Esley, team Esley, uh, the world finalists at 2022 Microsoft Imagine Cup competition and micro, the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. And we are giving you these three resource persons today. These three resource persons will be explaining each part of the steps that you have to take, what are the challenges that they have to, and also what are the ambitions, what are the things that they have achieved. And also they will give you a, a clear idea what to do next. So to welcome them, I would like to invite Mr. Vanodhi Biro Surya to deliver the welcome speech. Vanodhi Biro Surya. Okay, hello. Hope I'm audible. Yes, we can hear you. Go on. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, hope you all are doing good in this vacation period. Uh, on behalf of the IEEE Student Branch, University of Peradine, I would like to welcome Mr. Prabhat Manaparuma and Ms. Kalpani Abbasingha and our final resource person, Viraj Danushka, uh, uh, for this Imagine Cup Havana session, uh, Microsoft Imagine Cup Havana session. Uh, also, I would like to welcome you all to this session and hope you'll get the maximum out of this and uh, uh, hope, hope you will ask, ask questions also. Uh, so thank you. Okay. How do you possible? Thank you, Anoja. So after giving the welcome switch, let's move to the resource person. Why we take so much time, right? So before moving, I have to tell you like this. There will be two. There will be two sessions. Separate sessions will be carried out by the all three resource, per, resource persons, and also there will be a Q and A session at the end, and you will be able to ask questions directly from these resource people. So um, I would like to invite Mr. Prabhat Manaperuma, the partner technology strategist at Microsoft, to give you an awareness session on Imagine Cup. Mr. Prabhat Manaperuma. Thank you, Pasindu. Hi, uh, good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the whole organizing committee, IEEE branch at your university and uh, Microsoft Student Learn Ambassadors. And thank you so much, guys, for putting this together within a short period of time and inviting your colleagues uh, for the event. I am sure by end of this uh, session, you all will get a better understanding about Microsoft Imaging Cup and what it can do for you and how it can possibly change your life. My name is Prabhat Manaparuma, currently working at Microsoft Sri Lanka um, as a technology strategist for partners. So without further ado, let me take you through this um, presentation deck and then um, as possible said, you can feel free to raise any of the questions you have. Maybe I, I'm sure the IEM window is also open for the attendees. So uh, without even waiting till the end of the session, you can feel free to ask or raise your questions on the IEM window also. Pasit, can you quickly confirm whether my screen is visible, the, the presentation deck? Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Prabhamana, your screen oh, is visible. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. 
So Microsoft Imaging Cup, this is the 21st year we are organizing this competition, this global competition, which is open for uh, students in Sri Lanka and in your university specifically. So throughout last 20 years, we have been engaging with Sri Lankan student community, particularly on like inviting them for the competition, raising the awareness, mentoring them and guiding them throughout the competition. That was happened thanks to our subsidiary and then our industry experts, Microsoft most valuable professionals, and then not forgetting Microsoft learners, not ambassadors who are doing a fabulous job in raising the awareness and then supporting the competitors uh, to bring the cup back to our country. So when, when we're looking at uh, Sri Lanka uh, in Microsoft Imaging Cup history, and there's a nice map also on imagingcup.com. If you go there, you can find out uh, like how many times Sri Lanka has mentioned uh, during last 20 years. It's really great because we have been engaging with this competition. We have been working with these students, as I said earlier, for last 20 years. During last 10 years, we have been getting like students into different, different levels. It's mainly because of the talent pool we have in our country. So we got winners or finalists from University of Morotua and then University of Colombo and then well, recently from SLWIT company and the team, Nanosilver went to the World Championship level, which is the ultimate level of Microsoft Imaging Cup. So we have this talent in country. I know we all are going through uh, a difficult time period right now, but the competition like this will definitely change your life. I might be using this term like change your life multiple times, but I'm just telling you, where you can hear more from Kalpani and Miraj and the team who has been through this journey and who has got a lot of experience and exposure out of this competition. If I move back to the PPT or the presentation deck, as I said earlier, Microsoft Imaging Cup is a global student technology competition um, which we have uh, touched more than millions or two million competitors during the last 20 years. So this is a good opportunity for you to build something matters to your life, to your community, your family, to your village, to your country, and end of the day, to the, uh, the whole world. So you can make a difference. I mean, as a university student, most of the time you might be limiting yourself to the technology stack your family or you're engaging during your academic life. But by entering this kind of a global competition will definitely help you to expand your horizons, expand your boundaries, go beyond your uh, comfort zones and learn something new. When you look at Microsoft Learn and other resources we have given to you as a student, you can skill up yourself very easily within a short period of time because all the resources are available there. If you look at Microsoft Azure, a cloud computing platform, you get a hundred US dollar free account, even without verifying your status. If you want to try out a solution, if you want to try out any of the solutions or services available on Microsoft Azure, you can get all these things free of charge. And then so 100 US dollars might not be enough for you to take your idea to live, right? And to basically understand uh, the platform, learn the platform to develop your solution on top of it. To bridge that gap, we have introduced sandbox environments on top of Microsoft Learn. If you go to Microsoft Learn, just type Microsoft Learn on Google or Bing, you might end up with the website. So if you go there, whatever the content related to Microsoft Cloud, including Azure, then uh, our modern work uh, platform, Office 365, Microsoft 365, Dynamic 365, ERP and CRM platforms. All these things, when you go through these learning content, learning modules, when you need to do the hands-on activities, because learning these technologies is not just about, you know, reading something or watching a video. You really need to get your hands dirty with the technology. To bridge that gap, we have introduced, as I mentioned earlier, the sandbox environment. So you can create ultimate, number of um, sandbox environments free of charge and test it out. Say for an example, let's say you are trying to complete um, like sort of hands on activity on uh, Azure networking, then you can create, you will get a sandbox environment, uh, like sort of a dummy environment or uh, like credential username and password. Then you can go to portal.azure.com and log into the real environment and complete that hands on lab in the real environment. So that's a beautiful feature we have introduced. As a student, now you don't no longer need to rely on these free credit or trial environments when you want to learn Azure, uh, our cloud platform. You can use Microsoft Learn, learn from 
those videos and go through the um, the paragraph and then you get your hands dirty on the real ash environment through samples. So this is really important for you as a student because when you are getting ready for Microsoft Imaging Cup, this is one of the most frequently asked questions from me. Should we use only Microsoft technologies? The answer is no, you can use any of the open source technologies out there to build your solution, but when you are picking the cloud platform to deploy it, you have to use Microsoft Azure. Right. That's why I was talking about that piece earlier, because that is really important. In case you don't know how to use the platform, we are ready to support you, guide you, mentor you. It's all about identifying the proper BISP, like problem statement first. Identifying the problem statement would be the most hardest part for most of you. But if you are coming from third year or fourth year, having some idea, like even second years, even first years, I, I don't like to keep them away. If you have a really good problem statement, it's just a matter of making um, it live. I'm sure Kalpani and um, uh, Viraj will definitely help you to understand how best you can get your idea into the reality, a real problem, like real solution. So if you need, if you feel like, because the deadline uh, is really close, I'll be taking you through those details later. If you feel like you need some support from uh, us, from your learning student ambassadors, your fellow colleagues, <clears throat> You can always reach out to us. So we are ready to support you. Don't stop your submission just because you don't know about Microsoft Technologies or Microsoft Azure. We are ready to support you. And the other thing is, you know, when it comes to Microsoft Azure, our cloud platform, the main tech, uh, the solution or the service you need to aware of. So if you are familiar, familiar, um, if you are familiar with AWS or GCP, like other cloud, popular cloud platforms, there is no major difference with Azure. It's just a matter of identifying or matching those terminologies, <clears throat> those names. There are different names when it comes to services. Even when you're comparing AWS to GCP, you identify that similarly, even on Azure, you have those differences. But the services, the core concepts are all the same because it's about public computing, right? Public cloud computing. So you know the concepts, it's just a matter of uh, matching the uh, names of the solution. You can learn it. But again, repeat it. If you need any support, you need a mentor, maybe a technology mentor. If you feel like you have a good technology, uh, like good solution, and you have identified the technology stack and you have enough team members to develop it, and you need some support on uh, the, uh, the go to market plan link or presentation skills and software skills, please reach out to your Microsoft Learn ambassadors and uh, IEEE section. So they will support you with the right resources and they can always talk to me and our other uh, colleagues and we can channel a mentor for you to support you. So, because our whole idea is to get more entries from University of Peradeniya and then um, get more quality submissions and bring in, uh, bring in the cup to your university, right? End of the day, that's the most important thing, I'm sure, for you guys. And then bring it to country. So, please uh, do encourage your colleagues. I can see like around 35 people, uh, students are joining here today. If, if there are any academic members, I would kindly request you also to encourage your student to be part of this competition. So this is uh, the second year we are bringing this competition for the Southeast Asia New Market Cluster. Earlier it was Asia level directly, but now as a Sri Lankan student, you have bigger opportunity, much more opportunity to take part of this competition and get a, um, a better place of the competition. So who can take part? If you are like a student um, with the age of 16 or about, you can be part of it. I'm sure all of you are eligible for the competition because you are part of the university. And then uh, teams um, of up to four students, when you're building the team, it has to be with like maximum of four team members. It can be either one or four, not more than four. So if you are the team leader, you have to go to imagingcup.com or just type Microsoft Imaging Cup on Google or Bing, you can find the website. Log into it with your uh, personal Microsoft account uh, if you are the leader, and then go there, sign up, and then you can create your team, um, add your team name, a team name, and then the description, and then you can add <clears throat> other team members. So team leader can add other team members. Then other team members will be getting an email invitation uh, to be part of the same team. When they accept it, they can be part of the team. So that's how that part works. And then when your submission is ready, you can submit it. You have to uh, fill the form. There's a, a web form where you need to add the title of the project, uh, sort of a description and sort of a, like a document, a sort of a proposal. I'm sure you are familiar with those and upload it. When you need support, 
even on the web portal, there are plenty of support content available for you to follow and uh, submit your entry. So when you are talking about the opportunity, this is my view, but I would let our experts, people who really experienced it during last year to explain it further after my session. But in high level, this is a great opportunity for you to connect with the global community. So once you're registering yourself for the uh, Imagine Cup competition on imaginecup.com, you will get a link to join the Discord channel where you can meet so many uh, uh, fellow competitors from all around the world because this competition is open for the whole world, right? It's a global competition. You can meet new people. If you are looking for a, a mentor, you can find the mentor there also. And if you have any questions regarding the competition, you can put it there. We also have a separate channel for Southeast Asia new markets. Uh, Sri Lanka is part of that. You can find that channel also inside the Discord uh, server. Uh, you are joining with that link. You get funds to register on imagingcup.com. And then again, as I said earlier, you will uh, meet so many industry experts, mentors uh, over there. And throughout the competition, you can meet so many new people. You can make so many new connections. The top uh, most layer um, of the industry. You can get mentorships from them. You can hear from them. You can join the interested sessions with them and you know expand your boundaries. And also, this is a great opportunity for you to solve a pressing like pressing challenge, right? That challenge or the problem statement can be in your house, can be in your village, can be in your university, in your boarding house sometimes. So this is the opportunity for you to identify that problem statement and solve it. But when you're picking that problem statement, please be like aware of the applicable um, the size of the population. Because sometimes if that problem is just applicable for your village, then a small population can really be touched with it. But if the same thing can be applied across all Asian countries, because most of the problems we have can be there with India in India, right? And other Asian countries. So you 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 get that uh, opportunity to um, solve that problem statement and you know help your community end of the day. And then again, this year we are introducing the Microsoft Founders Hub. In case you haven't heard about it, just Google or Bing it, Founders Hub. So that is our latest startup program, which we um, like use to empower uh, the startups in the country. We launched it in Sri Lanka recently. Now with Imaging Cup, if you are gonna be a winner of Southeast Asia New Markets competition or Asia level, or even um, regional, like uh, the World Championship, you'll be getting into different levels of Founders Hub. We are trying to become an entrepreneur. If you are trying to build your own business, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to be part of Founders Sub because if you are to be Founders Sub through the normal channel, it's going to be really hard because we are picking only very few startups in country. And there is a very tough uh, requirement and criteria and guidelines which you had to fulfill. But if you are going to be the winners of Imaging Cup in any of these uh, levels, you will be eligible for that. And ultimately, if you are going to be the world champion, um, now, last year, a um, team from SLIT, uh, Kalpe and the team um, was part of top three um, of the World Championship and they were the runners up. But if you're going to be the champion of that competition, which is possible, obviously, you will uh, get an opportunity to earn 100K worth of USD cash prize and you will get a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Satya Nadala, Microsoft Chief Executive Officer and get a one-to-one -one personal mentoring session from him. So those are now, now you feel like why I was repeated saying this is going to change your life because of these, all these reasons is not just about the cash prize, but about the mentorships, the exposure you get. I mean, just type uh, Kalpani's name on uh, like Google, you, you will find like tons of uh, news articles. I mean, and that's the coverage. And even um, Viraj name, you can find them, their team names. I mean, this is the opportunity you get, right? As a university student, this is going to be a life-changing opportunity. I'm repeatedly saying that. So please apply for Imaging Cup. Your idea can be in different, different levels. Doesn't matter. Apply for it and uh, get all these benefits out of it. <clears throat> I'm not going to spend, I'm, I think I'm running a bit... Um, uh, ahead of the time. So I will, I will quickly uh, cover the presentation slides. I'm not going to repeat the same thing again and again. So this slide, why you should compete in Imaging Cup. So you can realize your passion. You can uh, you can apply technology into your passionate area and solve that problem. And also this is a great opportunity for you to build your skill sets and you know go out from your comfort zone and learn 
scrap new skill sets. You can end of the day, you can shape your world, your village, country, and the world end of the day. So I explain this. What are the steps involved in the competition? As a first step, if I repeat quickly, go to imagingcup.com. If you are the team leader, so your team can consist of four members, maximum four members or less than that, doesn't matter. But when you're creating your team, try your best to get people from different, uh, like different worlds, I would say. Because you might be a technical guy, you will have engineering skill set, you have identified the problem statement, you know what to, like what are the technologies you need to apply and you know build the solution. But when you're trying to take it to the market, when you're trying to be, if you want to win the competition, then having proper presentation is skills, like pitching is skills, because like there's an elevator pitch, even in the end, I'm sure that the team will explain more, like you have to pitch your solution within like three minutes even sometimes less than three minutes, right? So those presentation skills will be really helpful for you to position your product in front of your panel of judges to um, like inspire them, give them wow. Like you have to always show off those wow factors of your solution and get into the next levels of the competition. So we have four categories. I think even um, the, the, the moderator explained that like we have four categories. You have to pick the most appropriate a category for your solution. We have earth, education, health, and lifestyle. Just go through Imaging Cloud website. You can read more and understand what exactly we meant by these categories and pick the right one. Um, yeah. So timeline. This is important. We don't have many days. So today is actually 28th. Like you have less than a month time to apply for Imaging Cloud competition. So submissions are due by 20th of January. 20th of January, you can see it in red color on the screen. So you have to submit your and you have to register yourself and your team and submit your idea, submit your proposal by 20th of January. So we will be having a initial screening process as known as semifinals round. A independent panel of judges will go through all the um, idea submission, like project submissions, and then shortlist top 20 teams. But last year we got more than 200 entries. We are hopefully uh, we will get the similar or more number this year. So out of that number, we will be picking top 20, and then those top 20 teams will be presenting their idea in front of panel of judges in in the finals round. It most probably it will be a virtual event where you will join through a team call and pitch your idea um, presentation. By that time, you have to have a minimal viable product, MVP, meaning sort of a, at least a sort of a prototype, a working prototype, then only we can really understand whether you have really built a solution. If it is just uh, just an idea, it might be the right one. We are expecting a minimum viable product by February end. So if you have a good idea, you can submit that idea right now, but you have to build a minimum viable product. If you are getting selected for the next round, so you have to, um, <clears throat> position it so please keep that in mind right but technology wise again if you have used any other technologies any open source technology which is fine but if you have selected any other uh, cloud to deploy your solution right now again that is fine go ahead and apply the solution talk to your uh, student ambassadors and they will uh, always come back to us and we will support you to bring that solution from other cloud to uh, um, Azure, and then you are eligible for the company. So we are ready to support you guys. So don't make any of these blockers for you to be part of Imaging Cup uh, this year. So we are available on social media. Go to Microsoft Sri Lanka uh, Facebook page, Twitter, LinkedIn, and we are everywhere. You can reach out to me myself on any social media channel directly if you need any support. And we are ready to help you guys. And this is the competition setup in some like in nutshell. So epic challenge, which is over now, we are with this online semi-finals round. Actually, this online semi-final round has been replaced with the Southeast Asian New Markets competition. And so when you submit your entry by 20th of January, you'll be taking part of that competition round. And then top four teams out from that competition, first we shortlist 20, 20 teams will be presenting in front of panel of judges. From that 20, we'll be picking top four, top team from each category. Remember, I said, there are four categories. We will be picking top four teams from each category, and those top 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 four teams will be taking part of the Asia level uh, finals, which is world finals, and then um, winners from world finals round will be advanced into the world championship round. So this is the summary of Imaging Cup 2023 competition. I'm sure you got a better understanding about the competition setup 
and what you can gain out of it. So looking forward to seeing your questions. So the IM window, you can um, raise it up during the Q&A session also. Pass into audio. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Prabhat Manaperuma, for the brief introduction and the advocation about this particular competition. So uh, let's move uh, to the people itself who participated in this particular competition. First of all, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Viraj Danushka. He was the team leader of the Team Esle. Uh, uh, they were the world finalists at 2022 Microsoft Imagine Cup competition, and he is a Microsoft Team Student Ambassador. So, Viraj Danushka. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you very much, Pasindu. Uh, yes, we can buy more Yeah, okay. Thank you yes, for the information. Good. Yeah, okay. So, uh, hi, everyone. First of all, uh, I'm really glad. Uh, to share my experience being well finalists in the Microsoft Imaging Cup this year. Uh, hopefully, uh, now all of you have a good understanding uh, uh, regarding this Microsoft Imaging Cup competition, right? So what is it and how you're going to apply and how to register competition? Now you know everything, right? So we are here to share our experience uh, regarding the Imaging Cup competition last year. So I know uh, that most of you guys uh, here have done at least one project, right? For example, final years have their final year projects, and I know for the E17 batch here, they they have done with their uh, third year projects, and for the E18 batch, uh, they are they have finalized their uh, third year project ideas now, and they are they have sort of projects right now. So all of you guys at least have done one project. So, and particularly, I have gone through these uh, projects and I saw that uh, they have a great potential. So, the, because of that, guys, I really want you guys to submit your projects. Now you have, like Prabhat mentioned, uh, you have some time left, less than a month, but it's okay, right, guys? It's enough for you to find your new project ideas and apply for the uh, 2023 Imagine Cup competition. So that's the first thing I want to tell you. And uh, yeah, uh, to be honest, actually, uh, at the very beginning, we also uh, just applied to the competition, right? Never had a dream of uh, become world finals at all. Uh, but we always wanted to at least apply for the competition because uh, the, this year, the 20th anniversary, uh, 2022, was the 20th anniversary of the Imagine Cup. Uh, and it's a, one of the most uh, prestigious competition in the world. Right. Thousands of uh, very talented, uh, highly innovative students uh, around the world apply for this competition. And uh, that is the motivation personally for me to apply for this competition. I hope you guys also have that sort of motivation because guys, imagine like 20 years consecutively happened it and this is, you are applying for the 21st, right? So that's a that's a huge, everyone knows about it. For example, if you are joining for the industry or even academia, most of the time your interviewers, like they have, uh, at least they, they might have applied for this competition, right? Everyone from the industry, they know about this global competition. So there is a lot of advantage. At least you have uh, to mention, you have uh, applied for this competition, right? Uh, so even for us, uh, we we applied our third year project, uh, which was named uh, digital signage based user targeted advertising, and that was like it's helping the especially for the shop uh, shopkeepers to uh, display their advertisements in digital signage, and also shoppers to reach the products uh, easily. So that was our idea, and if I say briefly, and I know you guys also having sort of uh, projects, right? And uh, the uh, the thing actually, even Prabhat mentioned like uh, the cloud platforms, right? Uh, even for us, uh, particularly I would say, we were uh, initially planned our project using uh, Google Cloud Platform, GCP, but uh, 
it was really easy for us to move from one cloud platform to the other, Azure, right? Because Azure, guys, I really want to mention this because uh, everything you see, most of the things you see from other uh, cloud platforms, maybe AWS, maybe uh, GCP, everything is available in uh, Azure. So you guys can use that, right? So even we are, like Prabhat mentioned, we are here to help you if you want, and I will share you some uh, things where you can, uh, whenever you are advancing the competition, there are some channels like Discord, you can get a particular help. Uh, actually, uh, uh, throughout our journey, I would say we had a lot of experience, so I want to share a couple of things with you as well, right? Uh, First of all, uh, Microsoft Sri Lanka helped us a lot, right? Uh, including Prabhat and their, the team, they really helped us a lot. Uh, they organized weekly meetups and uh, evaluated our project uh, projects and presentations. They provide their very honest feedback with us. That's the very uh, helpful thing, I believe, to our uh, to improve our projects, right? And there was a session, uh, if I remember correctly, from Microsoft uh, Southeast Asia uh, region team as well. And uh, then again, we had uh, Microsoft International. So those guys assigned uh, us some uh, mentors uh, and they have a weekly meetups as well. So those mentors uh, were highly talented uh, professionals and MVPs. So those you don't know, MVP, MVP is actually uh, most valuable professional. It's sort of award that uh, given by Microsoft to people who have particularly experts in this field. So uh, some of those mentors we met actually had uh, maybe around uh, 10 plus years of experience in Microsoft, right? So imagine how much uh, experience and industry exposure they had uh, to share with us, right? And uh, I would say it's a very unique opportunity uh, that uh, all the Microsoft Imagine Cup participants uh, get for when you are advancing throughout the competition and we were also lucky enough to get that opportunity and throughout this competition uh, we could learn a lot guys uh, we could improve not only our technical skills uh, but non-technical skills such as presentation skills and project management time management uh, what else teamwork the list goes on and on right so a lot of things we gained we gained and uh, Again, uh, Microsoft provided a thousand US dollars uh, worth free cloud credits uh, to all the world finalist teams, and uh, uh, there was a cash prize for each team member as well. Uh, we can uh, use those prizes certainly to uh, improve our projects, and that's a really great opportunity, right? So even uh, each team member uh, who is selected uh, to the world finals, uh, Microsoft gave some awesome sacks, including these t-shirts and uh, stickers, little, little swags, you know, it's very awesome. Uh, so, uh, for example, the, the most importantly, as I mentioned, there is a separate uh, Discord channel where you can ask questions regarding uh, the issues, your projects, and specifically uh, Microsoft related technologies. Uh, there is a, an awesome community, uh, including Microsoft employees, uh, who are experts in this field uh, to help you. Uh, it's a really unique opportunity that uh, you can get uh, as a Microsoft Imagine Cup uh, participant. So I highly encourage you to apply for this competition to get all those uh, opportunities. Uh, so uh, last time, actually, uh, during the pandemic, uh, world, uh, up to world champions uh, selecting round, uh, uh, it happened virtually, uh, but Next time, uh, except the first round, I believe I'm pretty sure that uh, the uh, competition will be held physically, which means you can uh, you will have the chance to travel as well. So, even though this year uh, the competition happened virtually, uh, we had a great opportunity of networking. For example, uh, we we have a WhatsApp group. Uh, that uh, with uh, all the final uh, 48 teams, including professionals in Microsoft. Uh, so all together, participating Imagine Cup, actually, guys, it, uh, 
we could uh, gain a lot of experience, I would say, right? So to conclude my uh, speech, uh, I would invite all of you to apply to Imagine Cup uh, next year uh, and make a difference in the society as well as uh, you can improve your skills, right? So thanks a lot, guys, for listening, and I'll hand over this session to Pasindu. Uh, over to you, Pasindu. Thank you, Viraj, uh, for the uh, for the explanation of the experience and and what we have to do for the next as next steps. Also, let's move to the uh, third resource person today, and uh, she will be um, she will, she was the uh, she was a team member from Team Nana Shilpa, and she and they were the runners up in 2022 Microsoft Imaging Cup World Championship. I would like to invite uh, Ms. Kalpani Abe Singh to uh, aware us uh, and explain her ideas uh, on this uh, particular competition. Ms. Kalpani Abe Singh. We hardly hear you. Okay, uh, how about now? Uh, yes, uh, now, now okay, we can hear Great. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Karpanya Basinga from Team Nana Shilpa. Uh, yes, so we represented Sri Lanka at this year Microsoft Imagine Cup World Championship. Uh, and we were runners up uh, in the competition. And so if I gave a brief uh, introduction about our project, what we had done for the competition. So we had to build, we had built a mobile application uh, to identify uh, learning disabilities in primary school students. So our application helps uh, students who are struggling with learning disabilities and also parents and teachers can help their children to identify these type of learning disabilities in early stage and help these uh, students. So when uh, so if I gave a uh, um, brief uh, uh, description about how our journey has been, so we applied uh, for the um, Southeast Asia new markets, and our team were uh, after selected. So we gave a uh, for the first round. Uh, we gave uh, I think it was a fifteen minutes uh, presentation and demonstration. And uh, along with the uh, five minutes Q and A, then uh, and we were selected. Uh, we were the winner from our category, and we were able to represent uh, world finals in uh, from Southeast Asia New Market region. And from the world finals, uh, there we had to do uh, I think a three minute speech. So I think it's all, it was really challenging because uh, three minutes is a really, really short time period. So you have to give the introduction, the overview about your project, what you are trying to do and how you have uh, created this uh, project uh, or the product and how innovative it is uh, with other project comparing to other projects. So you have to include all the information. You have to be strategic. You have to be clear uh, when you are presenting your project. Uh, but uh, uh, and we were able to win uh, from Asia uh, uh, finals from Asia region and we were able to uh, uh, participate in world championship and uh, visit uh, Microsoft headquarters and uh, compete with other two teams uh, from the uh, uh, two regions uh, from uh, from world. I think uh, the whole uh, Microsoft Imagine Cup journey has been a really great experience for us. I think it's a once in a lifetime experience as Prabhat mentioned, because this type of competition gives us a lot of opportunities and a lot of, uh, I think a lot of ways to grow you as a, a professionally or and personally and le learn new things academically. Uh, so I think it's a really great opportunity for you guys. I think the most important part is you can represent your idea in a global platform platform. So I think it's a really rare uh, 
opportunity. I, so you can represent your idea. So I, I think we, when you're building a project, uh, even in our case, so we didn't uh, knew that we could uh, represent uh, or go this far with this project. So I think uh, we are now at a stage, so we are planning to launch. Uh, I think we are still developing, but we have got a lot of uh, invitation to uh, uh, with the help with the, obviously with Microsoft resources and Microsoft Sri Lanka team help. So we got a lot of help uh, and a lot of opportunities through this project. I think uh, all the students, uh, I think I invite all the students to participate and uh, uh, explore this journey because uh, I think even within the competition, even though when you are in the early stages of the competition, you got to uh, collaborate with different Microsoft uh, professionals and resources, uh, learn new things, learn new uh, technologies, and interact with the other students all around the world. Uh, I think uh, if I gave the brief, uh, I think uh, the experience we had, so we had weekly mentoring sessions, as Viraj mentioned, and also in the world championship level. So even uh, throughout uh, for a month, one month uh, period, we had different uh, meetings, different uh, uh, brainstorming session, collaborate, uh, collaboration sessions with uh, different resources from around the world. I think that opportunity itself is, uh, I think it's a really rare opportunity for you guys. I think learn from them and talk with them and uh, meet these. Uh, also, uh, you got to know, get to know about the ideas, the, the projects that the students are doing. I think that uh, that type of uh, different type of doors are opening through the competition. So I invite you, all of you guys to uh, uh, submit your ideas to competition. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I hope that uh, you guys definitely can uh, win this competition going forward. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, thank you for the uh, idea introduction and you know, giving the idea what to do about it. and thank you for motivating the uh, gathering also. So um, after that, let's move to the Q&A session. So uh, all the participants have the opportunity to ask questions to, uh, from the resource person themselves. So uh, in order to do that, uh, you can go to uh, slido.com uh, you, you can uh, post the questions in slido.com. Uh, go to slido.com and uh, there's, a, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a blue entry here called as joining as a participant and you have to enter the code. It's, will be, it will be hash 2022 mic. Hash 2022 mic and you can enter there and you can, uh, you can you know, post the questions here. So it will be, I think uh, the names won't be, uh, won't be uh, there and uh, the link will be posted also. Um, by the team and and also if you need if you have to if you uh, if you need any question to be clarified or something else you have any doubt to be clarified you can raise hand within the meeting itself so the uh, uh, so uh, we will give you the opportunity to ask questions after that you can raise hand within uh, uh, within the meeting itself and you you will be given the chance to ask the questions from the resource person from face to face and also or, or you can go to slido.com and join as a participant, enter in the code 2022MIC, and you can enter your code uh, and enter your question and ask your doubt from the resource people. Uh, the, uh, the gathering have, will have the chance starting from now. Yes. The tech team behind the uh, today's session, uh, us, you know, ex uh, saying that, you know, they have already posted uh, the link also in the chat box, I believe. 
So you can go to Chatbox, or else if it is not available there, you can uh, go to slido.com, S-L-I-D-O.com, and you can enter the code 2022-MIC, 2022-M-I-C, code, and you can enter your question, or else if you if anyone has a question or a doubt to clear uh, right now, you can raise your hand and the technology team behind today's session are ready it's ready to give you uh, yes uh, uh, it's ready to give you the opportunity to ask the questions from the resource people themselves so um, there is one question given by uh, the one given by a participant uh, asking that just asking that you know uh, they, how he's asking that you know he whether he or she can compete individually that means individual individually he can enter enroll to this uh, particular competition and compete individually i believe uh, the resource, resource people will answer this question answer this question i think uh, uh, mr prabhat manaperma mr yeah, viraj and miss uh, kalpani I will take that question. Yes, technically, yes, even one individual can compete, but we always encourage all the students to uh, build a team because end of the day, you can't do anything alone, right? I mean, the competition, but if you want to make it a life change in movement, you have to work as a team. So I highly encourage you to find a team. And there is one more question I can see. I don't have the knowledge on making an app. I have, I have an amazing idea. Can I participate? Yes, obviously you can. But with just an idea, you can't compete in the competition. When I say yes, you can, that means you have to build a team. That's where if you are not coming from a technology faculty or a person who is not um, know how to you know build an application, make your idea a reality, it's a there's a great opportunity for you to find few team members from another group, like another faculty, sorry. And uh, work with them. If you need support, I think Pasindu and the whole team can uh, help you to find the team members. I think you can technically build uh, like sort of a, a channel or if you have a LMS or maybe you can speak to your university and figure out a way to uh, get this, uh, you know, this matching done. Because there are certain students who are having a great idea, but they don't know how to make it live. But there are, meantime, there can be certain students who are having like really good technical know-how which in uh, like capabilities, but they don't know, they don't have a proper idea. So if you can work together, you can build a nice team and compete in the competition. I, I hope you, you get my point. Um, I think yes, for those yes, we, questions. Yes, we get your point. Yeah. yeah of course, uh, Prabha Manapirma, we have another question uh, asking that, you know, that uh, the participants might not have the knowledge. That means he, he, uh, he or she uh, clearly asked that I don't have the knowledge on making an app. But uh, I think he or she have uh, my, he thinks that, you know, he's thinking that, you know, uh, that he's having an idea, uh, clear, clear, which is a good idea. And, you know, he can ask that question. He can, you know, uh, he can, you know, you know, uh, participate in this and you know he can win this that's he, that means he is confident he's really confident in there but he doesn't have the idea to make uh, i don't make an app so uh is, the, is there any any suggestion to here yeah but you know, obviously i think uh, i think even previously i was trying to answer both questions at once so basically i think both are connected right when someone is telling someone is asking whether that person can compete individually Right, that person might have like very really good skill set of building app. Meantime, there is another student who is having a great idea who think that's going to be a gown breaking, you know, idea, but he or she doesn't know how to build it. If both parties can work together, connect together, and build a team, and you know, then they both parties can be part of the competition, right? So that's what I was trying to say. If there's a student who is not having any idea about building your problem statement, to a real solution or the application, or it can be even IoT implementation, right? Which connects with hardware, it's not just the application, I mean, software per se. My message here is my request for you, students please, if you don't have a skill set, find other team members, right? If you are from a marketing, like maybe non IT faculty, go and talk to uh, your lecturers and ask them to connect with, with you with some IT faculty students. You build a team because there is no restriction. Right when it comes to a, a team, 
those team members can even from different part of the world. I don't know whether you have seen that was clearly mentioned on the presentation deck I was presenting. So your teammates can be from different institutes also. I mean, you don't need to limit yourself to University of Pera. So you, some of your teammates can be from different university, which is fine. In case you can't like familiar with those students, build a team. Feel free to build a team with other universities also, but first try your best to find your teammates from your university itself because it will make your life easier because you might be in Peradini and others in Colombo. I mean, when you're trying to meet each other, it's going to be really difficult, right? But if you're finding your teammates from your university itself, from different faculties, it's going to make your life easier. Can a person yeah, thank you. I teams? think uh, there's no. another question, which is an important one. Uh, is this compulsory to use MS tools? Yeah, I think, uh, no, it's not compulsory, uh, compulsory to use, sorry, uh, Microsoft tools. You can feel free to use any open source technology, but when you're picking the cloud computing platform, it has to be Microsoft Azure. That's what I said earlier also during my presentation. In case you don't have that skill set, we, Microsoft Sri Lanka and even Microsoft Learn Institute ambassadors and uh, most valuable professionals, and there are plenty of people who are ready to support you guys, but you have to have a better idea and a solution in mind when it comes to technology usage, we can guide you. That doesn't mean like we will come and develop it for you, no, but we are ready to support you and guide you throughout the process. Uh, okay. And uh, another question is there, you know, uh, I think this might be from a very, uh, a very, uh, I think he, I think he or she might be a junior because uh, the, the person is asking that, you know, he has never made, uh, 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 I think uh, uh, project proposal before, uh, but thing is, is, uh, is, is it is, the project project proposal also should be made according to the according to the IEEE criteria or somewhere else, or the idea mm -hmm. should be given in just a way is easy enough. I think, Pasino, uh, maybe I, I I would request Kalpani and Viraj to answer that question because they were creating uh, you know real proposals, but also there are multiple. If I'm not mistaken, even on the ImagingCup.com webpage, you can download the sample. There's a template. You can download and follow the template. Yeah, Viraj and company, what do you Yeah, you yeah, 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 sure. Uh, let me answer that first. Uh, guys, yes, uh, the template, as Prabhat mentioned, definitely there is a template, guys. So you have to, in the template, guys, there is a, uh, it's mentioned what sort of things you have to write. For example, it's, it's, uh, there are sort of sections. So you guys basically have to fill those sections, right? So that is the basic thing. So, of course, as uh, for the answer, I would say there is a template, so you can follow that. There are all the guidelines are there. It's available in the, you can just Google it. You will definitely get it. Kalpani, do you want to add something? No, Viraj, I think you have covered everything. So because the template, is there and it has a really detailed description what needs to be included. So if you uh, write the proposal uh, along with the description, they have mentioned what need to be the key points. Are there? I think uh, you are pretty much good to go. And also there's another question before going to that question. I have to tell the participants also you can raise your hand within the meeting and we will allow you to ask the questions from the resource people themselves. And uh, we think uh, with that question, uh, with that uh, announcement, I have to go to another question. Uh, saying that is it OK to use the academic academic project to the competition? I mean, like, Obviously. I think uh, <laughs> uh, she's half, would like yeah, saying that because I think it is half yeah. developed. I think you know, the academic project is half developed, so they can, you, they can, you know, submit that one also. They're asking, I think. I think uh, so the project we represented uh, for the competition, so it's our final year research project. So that's the project. So it's not the project we uh, separately developed for the competition. So it's the project we have done for our final year undergraduate uh, research project. And that's the project we have uh, represented in the competition. So you guys can obviously uh, pitch your idea you have developed uh, in your research project. And also you can come up with new idea as well. So you are open to uh, do uh, anything you are comfortable with. It's uh, so they are not restricted as as long as your idea is uh, really good and innovative. 
to add a few points on top of Kalpani's comment. I think uh, if you're part of uh, MBQS or any other local competitions, or I think even inside your university, you are having different hackathons and you know different activities. If you're part of those, feel free to submit those entries because those entries might have bigger potential of uh, you know getting into the next level. I think even Kalpani has the same story, I'm sure we like also. So because those entries might have a better uh, potential of moving forward. So if you have a solution, uh, you have to first identify the most appropriate uh, category because as I said earlier, we have four categories. Pick the right category and submit your entry. And also, Pasidu, uh, for some reason, I can't, uh, like uh, the chat window is not visible for me. I'm getting an error message. So I have shared two uh, links on um, your platform, the apps, Lido. You can just share, if you can, or your organizers can share these links with the attendees and make sure everyone is getting, I think that would be great because we have a different a set of resources available on Microsoft GitHub. I share that link also. So those resources are not just about technological aspects, right? It's about how to build a team, how to build a prototype, how to generate an idea, how to build a team, you know, how to uh, have a successful pitch and how to integrate Azure with your solutions, so and so. So all these things are really required for you guys and we have gone above, above and beyond and build these content to make sure you as students are being successful on this competition. So that GitHub link also pasted uh, on the same thing, uh, the same platform, so feel free to go through it. And if you are having any other questions regarding the competition setup, uh, the policies and you know all this stuff, like how many team members can be there. Those things are available on our FAQ section of the website, a frequently asked questions section. And also there's a link, if you can download, like click on that link and download that uh, document, it has um, in detail um, information regarding the competition. So those two I wanted to add. Okay, thank you, Mr. Prabhat Manaparuma. I believe the questions that we have received were answered within uh, the slide, within the uh, slide presentation that uh, the, the three resource, person, resource people have uh, done. But uh, we will be able to give another two minutes for, to ask any question that you have uh, or doubt any question, any, any doubt or uh, to clarify any doubt or question that you have. So uh, you can raise the raise your hand uh, and we will allow you uh, to ask any question. Mm, and also after the session also questions. a link uh, will be shared to ask uh, questions or any kind of thing. Also you can visit uh, the uh, web page and you know uh, clarify doubts or, and also uh, the rules of the competition other likewise. Yes. Also, there are a few more questions on the platform. So let me take one by one. Can a person be in multiple teams? The answer is no. A person, like a student, can be part of only one team uh, inside the competition. Uh, I don't have knowledge on making anything. I answered that. What are the areas in competition eligible? For? I'm not sure. I, honestly, that doesn't make any sense for you. If the person who asked that question can refresh it, that would be really great. Uh, on what criteria the ideas will be related? Yes, I think uh, you can find out uh, the, the judging criteria in high level on the same page. If you go to imagingcup.com, uh, slash uh, support facts section, you can find out the evaluation criteria and get an idea. But in high level, it's not just about you know the technology, right? It's about the solution, the problem statement you identify, and the solution you come up with, and the technology stack you're going to develop, and then your pitching, your ability to uh, position the solution in front of panel of judges, uh, the presentation skills, everything will be evaluated, right? So that's why I said when you're building your team, make sure right individuals are there. If you are gonna have four individuals, like core techies who are like engineers, who doesn't know how to position with the solution and do a presentation, then you are in a greater challenge because this is a competition. It's not just about technology. It's about positioning it properly also. Uh, does any certification given for the part? Yes, we do uh, provide certificate. Last year we had a, like, we didn't have any in-person engagement, but this time I'm sure we can print out uh, you know, those certificates and distribute with you. But uh, the level wise, you have to be a winner of the semifinals round, the top 20 and then top four will be issuing certificates from our subsidiary, Microsoft Southeast Asia New Markets. Uh, beyond that, Asia level and COP, uh, it will be managed by our corporate team based in Redmond, USA. I hope I answered all the questions on the platform. 
Yes, thank you, Prabhat Manaparam. I believe the time is now uh, uh, time is now up for the particular uh, session that we have today. Uh, I think it's a time to wind up the event. I have to uh, uh, tell you that all the participants, uh, we will be sharing the recording of the today's session, and you can um, please do share with interested ones uh, this uh, recorded uh, recorded session. And uh, to wind up the event, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Sachit Vidyashuriya to deliver the vote of thanks. Mr. Sachit Vidyashuriya. So thank you. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Oh, thank you. A uh, very good evening to you all. Uh, on behalf of the IEEE Eastern Branch, I would like to extend my heart roll gratitude to Mr. Prabhat Manaperuma, the partner technology strategist of Microsoft. Also, Mr. Kalpani Abhisinghe and Mr. Viraj Danushka. So thank you all of you present here for making the time to be with us today and helping us make this event a success. Also, I would like to thank all the participants who made the event a memorable one. So guys, hope to see you in future events. Thank you once again. Good night. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sachit uh, Vijay Surya, and thank you for all the three resource people who co connected with us today and giving us a very uh, brief introduction about this competition and giving their ideas and their uh, and the ideas and motivating the students that who are willing to participate and take part uh, in this particular competition. So. I would like to um, end this session uh, for today. Uh, signing off, I'm Pasan Sandarwan and from uh, IEEE uh, University of Pera, the Faculty of Engineering, uh, saying you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.